have a genuine question that I want to ask the general public. If somebody tells you that somebody has an STD, an incurable STD, it comes from a close friend of theirs, a source, and then you find out that a friend of yours is sleeping with them, is it wrong of you to say, hey, just so you know, I've heard this, don't know if it's true, but this person told me, talk to them about it, ask about it. Is that fucked up? I'm just genuinely curious. This isn't like going around telling everybody, hey, I heard this person has an STD. This is, you know somebody you care about is sleeping with them and you say, did they talk to you about this? Don't know if it's true, this is what I heard. Just be careful, check it out. Here's where I'm coming from. If I was sleeping with somebody and one of my friends knew from a close source of that person that I had, a, they had an incurable STD and they had that information and weren't like, hey, just be careful, check it out, talk to them about it. I'd be fucking livid. And another question. Would you consider that like gossip and rumors to talk to the one person who it's about and be like, hey, check it out. Ask them about it. Have an adult conversation about it. Is that gossip or is that just like being a friend? All I'm saying is I've been being painted as a villain for two, a year, two years. I don't know how long because I knew somebody was sleeping with someone who I wasn't close with her. I was close with him and I heard that she had an incurable STD. He told me he slept with her. I literally said, hey, this person I've heard has this incurable STD. And if you're going to continue sleeping with her, ask her about it. Don't know if it's true. A close friend of hers told me. That's all I know. Be careful. Keep an eye out. Use protection. And I'm a fucking bad person because no matter what I do, I'm always a bad person and this is why. This is why I have three amazing friends that I hang out with. Just don't talk about anybody. Don't do it. Like I, I'm in my fucking house, living my life. But I just, I snapped today because I'm so sick of it. Sorry to like rant about this. I usually try to keep shit like this like pretty private. It's just I'm at a place in my life where I'm so fucking happy. Like I have great people in my life. Like my friendships, my love life, like my house, my career, like everything's great. And I'm so secure in myself and who I am at this point that I'm so done with bullshit. And I'm so sick of like the shit I hear that I've said or done, like coming back to me and just like hearing the things that like people make up. I just, dude, I'm the, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> sorry for snapping y'all. At the end of the day, this is what I'm sick of. I am somebody who, not to toot my own horn, but beep the fucking beep. I am so kind to people in my life. I will reach out to you if you're hurting, whether you're awful to me, if I hear all the terrible things you say about me, if you've killed my fucking pet. If I see you're having a hard time, I will reach out to you and I will say, I'm here for you. If you need to talk, I understand. Let me listen. And that's always been who I've been since the beginning of fucking time until now. And I'm so sick of being that person to everybody all the time and then hearing the shit come back to me that comes back to me. And I'm just, I'm just done. Like this one pushed me over the edge because it was just like, I could not be kinder to this person to be treated like this. Another thing that I'm realizing I've kind of like grown past and grown out of because I'm sitting here bedridden, doing some reflecting, waiting for a hottie to come over um, with my leg up because it's broken. Um, when people, like you're having an adult conversation with them and then they just like start insulting you and they'll say shit like, this is why nobody likes you. And it's like, what do you want me to say to that? Like, I know I have friends. I know like people <laughs> like me. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then like, what, what did you think? It's, it's just so desperate and like a last like grab at like trush, trying to hurt somebody. And that's what I think it really comes down to is I never would try to hurt somebody. I would never try to say something to somebody to hurt their feelings. I would never go out of my way to like hurt somebody. You know what I mean? And when somebody's doing that, you just have to step back and be like, okay, this person is obviously hurting because you have to be hurt to hurt people. Like happy people don't hurt others or try to hurt others. So that's my lesson is if anybody's ever just like coming at you, trying to say like 
insult you and make you feel some type of way, you already win because that person is not happy and just be happy. At the end of the day, here I am at my house, not saying anybody's names, not trying to get in anybody's business, but there's also somebody else going on the 500th rant for the month. This is the shit I'm talking about where it's just like, everything on YouTube is fake and lies and that's why I don't get like upset about it and why you also don't see me with YouTubers because it all just turns into fake lies and dumb shit. Like little details like that, like, you know, after she asked to come to my birthday party. I didn't ask you to come to your birthday party. You invited me to your birthday party and I came because I wanted to come support you on your birthday. But by doing that, you make it seem like a narrative that isn't. Like I asked you to please let me come and then you let me come because you were so nice. But no, you invited me to your party because I was very kind to you. And I came because I was kind to you and I just don't appreciate this narrative.